Well, how's everybody going? This is just a, a quick video, guys. Um, I've got my uh, Swedish Army mess kit here, which I'm going to be taking on my, um, you know, two-week trip to New Zealand to go gold press prospecting and metal detecting all over the country. So, you know, I'm bringing my little mess kit, and I just thought I'd I'd show everybody out there that you can carry a little ki little kit like this. That you know, it all fits into the one little pot here including the stove and the alcohol bottle um, you've even got yourself a little little frying pan here well here's what I'm going to go have a go at making so you know just just to practice to see if I could actually make this out in the field while I'm gold prospecting as you can see you know it's quite a cheap cheap one it cost me 70 cents um, and it says to add milk so I've got some powdered milk over the other side here which I'm going to use so I've got my um, cake mix in my uh, plastic container here, it's it's only about half the bag, and I probably won't use all of the powdered milk that I've already made up. But I'll mix it up and um, show you a little bit bit more about the next step, guys. So you want to mix it, guys, till it's it's quite runny, so it's like pancake batter almost, so it's easy to pour. And, and this is only going to be one serve, but you could cut this in into two people for you know a quick up morning tea or something like that with a piece of fruit while you're out camping or metal detecting in the field be a great thing to so now I've have. got some um, tin foil in my little canteen cup here and uh, put a bit of, I've put a bit of oil in there so the the item that I'm making you know in this case the cake isn't going to stick um, so you don't actually need the rest of the stove or any of this stuff to actually cook it you could use a normal just a normal canteen cup and a bit of tin foil and just put your lid on top and then put this on the fire or on top of your stove that you've got so guys, I'm going to actually get this prepared, and then we'll we'll come back to you when we've got it on the so on the I've heat. I've got my little trangia stove going, you guys, and I'm going to put my little stand and sun and um, wind protection around it. And it is, it's currently just heating up, so in, in a second the the um, stove will heat up and it'll get more efficient. So as you can see guys, I've got um, stones in the bottom of my little stove here. But if you didn't have this, you can actually put stones in the bottom of your cup or canteen cup as long as it's metal. So I'm about to put it on guys, and once I've got it on I'll show you what it looks like. So now I have the vanilla cake in the oven, and in the, as you can see they've got the stove cranker down here. So what I'm going to do guys is um, just chuck the lid on here and um, I'll leave it for about 10-15 minutes and we'll come back to you. So we're about halfway through so I'll have a little look. As you can see it's it's risen quite well. I've pretty much got what I actually <laughs> didn't expect. It's, it's looking like a cake. It's rising well. So I'll put the lid so back the on. It's just gone out. Um, it's probably been going for about about 20 minutes all up. So not really that long. Just take the lid off. As you can see, the cake is perfectly cooked. I don't even need to um, poke it. If you look at it closely, it, it's risen and, and it's nice. It looks looks like it's going to be nice and moist. So let's take the cake out and have a look. When I'm camping, I'll actually have a multi-tool, but I'm using a set of pliers to get it out now, just for this test. So as you can see, it looks it looks perfect, guys. Sorry about the shaky camera, but um, you know I'm using one hand at the moment. So as you saw in the beginning, I put a bit of oil. So he's hoping it doesn't stick. So as you can see, guys, it's really easy to do a bit of baking in your little little camp stove. If next time you're out detecting, camping. Don't be afraid to, you know, bring along a vanilla cake mix. You know, you can make pancakes for pikelets in this. You can make banana bread, uh, damper, anything the way that you like. It, it's very simple. I, I was planning on showing you the, the cake once once I'd pull it out, but um, I actually ate it all. <laughs> it was actually very delicious. Um, in the future, when I come to my uh, camping adventures, you'll, you'll see me cook, cook more like this and 
I'm actually very happy. And, and cold climates, you know, you could, I could have whipped myself up a, a cake and a cup of coffee within within 30 minutes, very quickly. Um, and if you're out on the trail for eight, nine hours a day, then, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with having that. So, you know, thanks guys for watching this video, and I hope this inspires some, some people to actually bring a camp stove out next time they're, they're doing something, and, and try some of these, these things out.